So I was uh, I was watching your I, I really enjoyed, by the way, I watched a couple. I saw a couple more, though, the AR guy versus AK guy. It's like watching. I'm sorry to hear that. It's like getting really into a, a subreddit on a niche hobby that you don't get yet. And like after you get to like page three, you're like, <laughs> I get the jokes. Like, right. Like, I, I get what's happening. Like I watched the first episode and I'm like, OK, I get it. So like AR guys wear scarves and like talk about stats and AK guys are like, let's go shoot things for cheap and have fun. And like this was just total impulse purchase like thought. I was I, I just started looking right after watching that video. I'm like, what kind of AK could I buy if I really want an AK? And so I wanted to ask you. I don't have an AK. If I, I wanted to that. buy one, if I wanted to buy one, what what kind? Where do I look? Treat it like I don't know a thing. So American stuff is usually pretty shit. Like mm -hmm. uh, American, not American built stuff, but like American fully made here. They cut a lot of corners. Corners. They do a lot of casting, a lot of just really dog shit manufacturing because they're like, oh, it's cheap Russian shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. The Russians and the Soviets took that shit very seriously. Like they have very high end like forgings and it's very strong metal and everything and not getting too technical like a lot of the overseas stuff like arsenal very good brand arsenal bulgaria saigas all the russian shits really really good and then you get american shit which is like oh it'll detonate after two thousand rounds if you're using hot ammo it's like yeah that's that's not awesome that's been oh, i good. bought an american good AK. i didn't know any better oh, and, sorry. dude i i was like ooh, it's an ak but it's American. So, it, you know, it, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like double better. good. No, it, it's more <laughs> like multiplying two negatives or something. I don't know. It, 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 I think I fucked that. Let's, not, let's say it's not like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just say that multiplying two negatives. <laughs> I was these students, so you're out of my face. <laughs> maybe, maybe the Americans are positive. Like, dude. I don't know. One negative. <laughs> but <laughs> in any case, it, uh, it sucks. It, it, it jammed all the time. I think I asked Kyle to look at it. He didn't have a solution. I'm not sure about that. I definitely took it to a, a gun store and was like, hey, this is like, do you want it as a trade in? I hate this gun. And they're like, no, no. You're an excellent salesman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I didn't. Yeah, good point. So anyway, uh, my gun sucks. They they suggested removing some piece of rubber to make it maybe maybe better. Oh no, you Same. have an IO. I do. Yeah, I think so. Oh, honey, <laughs> <laughs> is that a really tough one to have? Awful. I've actually toured their facility, and they threatened to sue me after the video I made. Really? Uh, one of my <laughs> earliest videos on YouTube. It's just awful, awful. Is there awful. any way to make it not misfire? Uh, I can. You can send it to me. I can completely demill it and replace all of the parts and rebuild it, and then it might work. <laughs> so he'll make you a new gun and send that new gun back. We can probably save like the furniture and the trigger. <laughs> oh, group. I don't like the furniture. I don't well, like the furniture. We can definitely save the trigger group and the screw. <laughs> The Kyle gave me better good. furniture, and I decided that the AK wasn't worthy of the furniture. The furniture is like the wooden part for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. Guns. And uh, I was like, man, I really like this. It's like, it's almost reddish purple. or I, I don't know, really appealed to my sense of style. I thought it was cool. But I'm like, this gun is not worthy of this outfit. You can't yeah. have it. Yeah, I never got, got too much into AKs. Whenever we would buy AKs, it was always to convert them to full auto. So I just buy the cheapest Wasser 10 I could find. And uh, and make a machine gun out of it, and but back, I mean, I never had an, that. Those Wasser tens would just go and go and go. I never had any issues with you them. You guys have me hoping for a Biden gun buyback program, <laughs> right? I, I can <laughs> find, <laughs> explain that one a little bit. Let's, he's, uh, he's not no, going to no, say oh, 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 I can't it. find an <laughs> idiot to buy my gun, but maybe Joe Biden's that man, right? Maybe I mean, he'll buy my AK from me. <laughs> Nobody I mean, else I, I will. Really, I don't think he's going to go, you know, oh, we were doing a buyback and it's only for shitty American AK. <laughs> <laughs> it's an AK. You think they pay top dollar for that? It's got A right in the name. Yeah, just wait for a local buyback. You know, wait till Chapel Hill's doing some sort of crazy, you know, oh, well, well you know, get these dangerous guns off the street. You're like, absolutely. $200 yes. Best Buy gift card. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would, Can you I negotiate would... at a buyback? I don't think like, so. Yeah. You know what? Here's how you before. negotiated a buyback. You put up a picnic table right in front of the buyback and outbid them. <laughs> Keep Absolutely. those guns on the street. Doing a, like a uh, 501c3 and like actually doing like a gun safety, whatever thing, and just putting up booths in front of buybacks. Like, what do you have there? Oh, World War II K98. Your grandfather had the app. All right. Well, they're giving you 100 bucks. 140. Yes. That's the way mm -hmm. to go. That's I would love to do that. We were, we we even put up the paperwork. Like our mission statement was 
to take guns out of the hands of people who didn't want them or didn't feel safe with them and put them into the hands of private collectors. That, that sounds pretty friendly. 